Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, some of you have been commenting on my backlist of videos uh, lately, so thank you so much. That's really, uh, really enjoyable for me to, uh, to experience that. Okay, I need, I need everybody's help. And especially if you have a channel and you can encourage the people who watch your channel to do the same thing. But Claudia at Spencer's Library made, for Jane Austen July, made a Jane Austen task mistress video. She got four other people to complete a certain number of tasks and so she had to, I mean, it was a tremendous amount of work for Claudia to create this video just to begin with. And then whoever won, um, all, the, all the contestants, and I will tell you who they are here in just a sec, all the contestants picked a charity and the ad revenue from the video um, goes to which, whoever wins. Um, whoever has the most points at the end of the like episode. And I don't know if this is based on like a, a, a TV show somewhere or something like that. I'm not familiar with it, but um, anyway, so she got um, Jack at Spread Book Joy. And I think Jack is short for Jacqueline. Um, Katie at Books and Things. Risha at For the Love of Classics. And then um, a bookstagrammer um, whose name is Cedric. Uh, so she gave them some Jane Austen related tasks and the idea being whoever scores the most points, um, the money from the video itself will be donated to the, to the charity of their choice. Okay. Now, if you have watched this video, please, please do not put anything about who wins, the tasks, like please don't spoil it for anyone who hasn't had the sheer joy of watching this video yet. So please don't do that in the comment section. Um, now I have watched the video and yes, like there are a lot of ads. It is like watching a TV show. Um, Jason and I watched a four minute ad about, that was related to like, this crazy looking toothbrush. <laughs> so yes, there are ads and, but the point is to, this is the one time like watch the ads or leave the ads on, go get something in the kitchen, whatever the case may be. And if you've already watched it, if we could all watch it again, because I reached out to Claudia this week and was just like, you know, I mean, I said, look, let's do this every year. And she was like, well, it was really like a lot of work, which I can't imagine editing not only her, her portion of the video, but then four other videos, splicing them together. And I have to tell you guys, if you haven't seen it, it is absolutely one of the funniest videos I have ever seen, um, especially on booktube. And I don't want, again, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I will say, you know, Katie at Books and Things and Risha at For the Love of Classics are very, there are people with a lot of poise and, uh, to, you know, they've got it together when they're creating their own videos and to experience them just like on the spur of the moment, having to do certain things is absolutely absolutely hysterical like it's so funny but I reached out to Claudia as I was saying and said you know we should do this every year this is great and you know she explained like that it was a lot of work and then again I, I, I left another comment about like just how funny seeing these like you know s people who tend to script their videos um yeah like just seeing people like just in the spur of the moment, like off of their game in some, in some ways. Um, it was just such joy, such joy and well worth watching all the way to the end. 
And Claudia told me, because again, the idea is like whoever wins, the, the ad revenue from that video is supposed to go to their charity. And again, without spoiling anything, so far, the ad revenue from that video, which has 1.5 thousand views, uh, over 200 thumbs up, almost 200 comments, the ad revenue is $12. So we all need to come together. YouTube is making money off of small booktubers right and left because and, and actually, I mean, honestly, like even though my channel has more than a thousand subscribers, I still can't monetize the channel because I, I don't have 4,000 hours of viewing time. And then I'm sure there'll be something else once I get to 4,000 hours. But I'm, I'm like a thousand hours away from being able to monetize my channel, which I initially, when I started this channel, I had never had any intention of doing but now I'm like, well, if YouTube is gonna make money off of it, like, shouldn't I get something? Like, <laughs> you know, if they're gonna put ads in front of my videos and I don't have any control over it. Um, yeah, so this is our, our, our golden opportunity, you guys. Like, let's just play the video, watch the video, have it in the other room or whatever, but let's, have it go at least watch it or not watch it but at least play it one more time with all of the ads and the hopes because really like twelve dollar a twelve dollar donation after our 1.5 thousand views it must mean so many people are skipping ads so you just have to endure the ads and like i said you know if you've already watched it you, i'm not saying you have to watch it again but just play it with the ads so that uh, the revenue that goes to the charity that wins can, can be something more significant than 12 bucks. Like really, like just the amount of work that Claudia did alone is worth way more than that. Um, so anyway, I will um, link to these channels and uh, Cedric's uh, Cedric's books bookstagram account. Cedric, I you're probably not watching, but I, I thought you were fantastic, and I really think you would be great on BookTube. So I hope I hope you will consider that. Um, anyway, so it's Friday reads. What have I been reading? I think we know, right? Jane Austen, July. I have just been immersed. So I finally was able to finish reading Mansfield Park. So great. This is only the second time I've read this. The last time I read Mansfield Park was I think 1999. It's way too long. I can never let this happen again. <laughs> so um, I am going to do a video talking about this book and uh history of england along with the film adaptation so if you've watched the jane austen book club which you know i've been like hyping on my on my channel for a long time um if you've ever watched the jane austen book club it doesn't specifically say that it's that film but th there is this this scene related to Mansfield Park and one of the characters is like well it's it's not really Mansfield Park it's more of an interpretation and I it's so much easier for me to watch the film rather than read a book that's my edition it's 439 pages um so yeah so that's I mean I've I've seen the film a lot more then I've read the book and I wanted to know like, okay, what is in the book? Like what is actually in the book? And I know that um, the film does include other things that Jane Austen wrote, including um, part of her history of England, I believe at the beginning as they're kind of showing Fanny Price grow up. So I'm hoping to do a video about that this weekend, but this was definitely the main triumph of the week in finishing this and then last night I zipped through this um 
this is a um, copy of her history of England and there's these wonderful illustrations that Cassandra did. Thought through both of those and um, not that the history takes very long, but I also started Pride by Ibi Zoboy. Apologize if I've said that wrong. Um, so this is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little bit skeptical, like, but I'm only like 28 pages in. So, so I'm, I'm gonna like hold judgment and I, I'm, I'm gonna read it. Um, and I'm hoping that I can read this, this weekend. Hoping, fingers crossed. Um, and then the other thing I started is a book that you guys have been telling me to read for years, What Matters in Jane Austen, 20 Crucial Puzzles Solved by John Mullen. Okay, so I've only read 20 pages <laughs> of this book. Um, I read the introduction and uh, the first chapter and like, I'm just already totally blown away. I really can't wait to hear the things that John Mullen has to say about Mansfield Park since I just finished it. But um, just kind of like setting, setting us in Jane Austen's world and what sets her apart from her contemporaries and that sort of thing. So uh, I, I'm already just amazed and I'm so glad that you guys persuaded me to get this. I bought um, six books in December of 2020. Five of them were chosen by uh, you guys. And then this one was the one that I chose for myself because I knew Jane Austen July would be here before I knew it. And uh, yeah, this book is so great so far. So I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, okay. So that's what's going on in my reading world, but I would love to hear what you guys are reading, if you're reading anything for Jane Austen July. Um, and again, I would really encourage anyone who has a booktube channel or even, even on um, Instagram, if there's some way to promote people watching uh, Claudia's Jane Austen's Taskmistress, which I'll link to down below. Um, please, please encourage your viewers to watch it with the ads. I know it's so easy to just hit that skip ad button, but this is a case where she's trying to raise money for a charity and man, oh man, like <laughs> we can't, we cannot have the winner of uh, such arduous tasks. Um, only having $12 go to their charity. So um, if you guys could please join me in helping promote that and encouraging people, even if they've already watched it, to play it again and just leave it alone and let the ads run, um, that would be awesome. Look to remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.